Dude, you cannot tell me this is not the most adorable, handsome little rodent the world's ever seen. Like, look at that. <laughs> I really love this animation, dude. I really do. Look at that face. My little handsome boy. All right. Hey, guys. So, um, I'm in my second coffee already because I'm insane like that. And um, I just hopped on the game today. And this question that keeps striking me. I always in my mind once again and it's what happened to star stable or what happened to the old players of star stable i get on this game and i feel so uncomfortable or not maybe not uncomfortable like extremely lonely and that's because like all my friends that once played this game are gone and i'm like what happened like i don't understand it feels like like this game doesn't feel like familiar anymore it doesn't feel like I don't want to say home anymore, but it just doesn't feel familiar anymore. You know what I mean? And so I'm just like wondering where did everyone go or who is playing Star Stable now? That is what really confuses me. Like who are all these people playing the game now? They're not people that I know. All the people that I know are gone and where the heck are they? And who are these new prepubescent rodents? And where did they come from? And when did they start playing the game? Um, my mouse is giving me a hard time again. I'm still in the US. I'm still using my phone to record my voice. So if the audio sucks, I'm sorry about that. I know you can hear the laptop overheating because it's a freaking ancient laptop. It's my mom's ancient laptop that I'm using. But anyway, just like I'm very confused. And I know I'm not the only one. I know the old players can relate. It's like, what happened to this game? And what I just realized is that some people have never like experienced the old graphics or the old characters like the very first characters or even the ones with the long necks oh wait were those the first ones i'm talking about like the second characters that we got the updated ones some people didn't even get experience those dude they just got experience these new rodents that we have out in the game which i like these characters better than the old ones but that's not the point of the video I made so many videos talking about my stand on the new characters i'm not gonna go over that again i've already broached that topic a few times but yeah just really confused man i'm really confused i don't have any friends in this game and i don't want to have any friends in this game i've told you guys i really don't want to associate myself with anyone in this game anymore and i also am not a big fan of virtual relationships anymore or friendships i used to be when i was younger but right now i'm more focused on um investing in my real life friendships because to me it feels like they're more more likely to last and um it's different when you can actually like, meet a person face to face, talk to them, give them a hug, pat on the back, you know what I mean? Just, it's a different level of support that you can offer to your friends when they're actually around you physically. I sometimes wonder if the only reason I'm still here is because of YouTube, and that might be the case. Like, if it wasn't for YouTube, I maybe would get on Star Stable like once in a- wow, the voice crack. Would probably get on Star Stable like once in a blue moon, you know, to buy a new horse and log off again. And I say that, but that's kind of what I do, to be honest. The only difference is that I turn my recorder on. I don't really play this game on my spare time. Um, I used to when I was like listening to a podcast, but then if I want to listen to a podcast, I do that at the gym or as I'm cleaning my room or my shelves, my prior shelves. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know what it is. Um, I sometimes wonder like what keeps people playing this game. And I know that recently a friend of mine started playing Star Stable and I could see the the newbie Dennis in her, you know what I mean? I could see that passion for the game. Like she was glued to her screen for like a month straight. And that was all of us, you know what I mean? When we first started playing this game, it felt like the world was endless and there were endless opportunities and things to discover and explore. But after a few months or maybe years, we just got so jaded. Do you see what I mean? Like we just know every single corner from this game. Everything is just so repetitive and there's so many things to do. And so, I feel like Star Stable is such an amazing experience when you first discover the game and for like the first few months. Like this game is so just amazing. It really is. There's so much to see and discover. Um, and just the fact that we have a horse game, dude, if this happens again, I'm so annoyed by this thing. This glitch is always happening. But the fact that we have like a horse game that's like has nice graphics, like Star Stable has pretty decent graphics and people working on the horses are people that actually know horse anatomy. Do you see what I mean? Like they actually go places, they inspect the real life horses, take videos, and then they go back in their studio or office or whatever, and then 
they translate, they integrate that into the game. You know, the fact that we have a horse game, which again, yeah, it's kind of like childish, the graphics are pretty, you know, childish, but still, it's pretty realistic. To a certain extent, the horses are realistic and they're nice. So the fact that we get to have that is really cool. When you first discover that, you're on Cloud9. But after like a few months, you're like, what the heck, my game just shut down. What the heck just happened? Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. I'm recording with this stupid screen recorder. It's pretty cheap. And if the screen is lagging or glitching out, I'm sorry. I just went over my footage and it seems like it is. I don't know what to do to fix it, dude. We gotta work what we have for the time being, all right? I'm really trying to like record videos while being in the US. It's sometimes challenging, but so I want to make it work now. So we're gonna have to settle for disc quality for now. But anyway, as I was saying, after you discover all the places from the game, after you get used to all the new horses and you ride them long enough, you realize, dude, there's not much to do anymore. Like, I've discovered every piece of land from this game. I've ridden the horse I've always wanted to ride. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? What is there to do in this game except for training your horses, which gets really boring and repetitive and really not challenging, really doesn't require much skill. It does when you're a newbie. I remember I could not, I just, for the life of me, I could not finish the riding hole races. And I needed to literally have a friend come over and do the races for me because that was like a quest, I believe it was, or maybe not, I don't remember. I thought it was because back then I didn't know the difference between like a blue exclamation point versus a yellow one. So I thought that quest, I thought it was a quest and it was mandatory, but it was just a daily. So after some time this game gets very repetitive and boring and I feel like I've been there for such a long time, for years to be honest. I, I'm so, like this game is only fun when there's events happening, like big events, like the Halloween event maybe, or not the Halloween event, I think my favorite one has always been the Winter Village. And then, you know, checking out the new horses, it's always fun, but like that requires money. And I'm privileged enough to be able to get my money back after I record a video, buy the horse, and I post it. I'm privileged enough to, you know, be able to make that money back. But I realize that's not the case for everyone. And um, one of the reasons people quit this game is because it's so expensive. And I 100% agree with that. Last time that I purchased Star Coins was before they raised the Star Coin prices, which was a few months ago, I believe. And then as a Christmas gift, pretty sure it was um i received forty thousand star coins i believe which was insane um so all these star coins you see here they're not star coins that i, I spend money on they're all gift um because i know i get a lot of comments people being like oh you have so many star coins and it makes me feel like it makes me feel bad do you see what i mean number one because i know i know that was a blessing that i received and not like it really was it was a gift and it was really nice and second of all, because some people might think that I purchased those star coins and that I'm really like rich, which is far from the truth. And also that wouldn't make anyone rich. If you spend all your money on star coins, that doesn't make anyone rich. It makes them just foolish and stupid and have wrong priorities in life. So if I were to spend all my money on star coins, yeah, maybe I would have like, you know, 50,000 or 100K star coins. And you'd think, oh, he's so rich. No, he's, you would just, you better just think, oh, he's dumb. He doesn't have his priority straight but yeah the star coin prices are just absolutely ridiculous and that's probably one of the reasons that people leave the game and i really am not looking forward to spending any more money in this game like i really don't want to do that i really don't want to you know waste all my star coins because i'm always i'm always cautious i'm always like dude if once all these star coins are gone like what am i gonna do because i really don't want to spend money in this game i don't it's just crazy. Like this game is so expensive and Star Stable pushes out so many new horses. And like they're, dude, they're fun. Like they're exciting. I like checking on your horse breeds. They're cool, but they're expensive. And that's just the reality of it. Like, yeah, it's exciting. We get that adrenaline rush, that dopamine rush, you know, when we first see the new horses. But then it's like, but this is gonna be pricey. Like this is gonna cost me something. It's not free. So yeah, I don't know if this video makes any sense. I'm just laying all my thoughts down for you guys. I'm so confused, I still don't know as to why people are gone. I don't know who these people are in the game, who play the game right now. I don't know where they came from. I don't know if they're new players. I don't know. I remember when I made my Nightstar account, I used to like know almost everyone. Now if I go on Nightstar, I don't know anyone. I don't. And it's weird. It's really weird feeling. It feels like you're a stranger. And like, it makes me feel kind of like, I wouldn't say socially. like. 
there's an element of like social anxiety that comes with this but like not really because it's not like it's not like you're actually in person like you're not like, actually like you know there with a the real person like you're not actually like face to face with real human beings you're just in front of a screen but there's there's a real person behind it's also the fact that i make youtube videos doesn't really help with the way that i feel when i'm on nightstar most of my audience is from the us and so that's why I kind of try to avoid nicer like plague because I know a lot of people know me and I don't know them and I feel so vulnerable and exposed. I don't know why I do because they know me, I don't know them. So it makes me feel very like weird, um, makes me feel very uncomfortable. I always feel like there's eyes on me, like there's someone watching me. I don't know, might be just a bit delusional, just a little bit. But I don't know what you guys think. I want to know your thoughts on this matter. It's pretty egregious if I think about it, how everyone that I knew left. My favorite YouTubers left. Star Stable. I can't watch anyone anymore. There's like no one to watch. Also, what happened to the Star Stable community? Like to the YouTube community? Like what happened? People used to watch Star Stable videos more than they do now. Isn't that true? Am I wrong? Is that because people left and there's not as many people interested in watching Star Stable videos anymore because they don't care for Star Stable anymore because they left the game? Is that what it is? I don't know what it is, dude. But like, I wish there will be Star Stable YouTubers that I would enjoy watching. And I'm not trying to sound condescending like I'm better than anyone else, because I'm not. I'm just like, there's only two Star Stable YouTubers that I like watching. And that's also because there's not many to pick from. Like there's not many Star Stable YouTubers anymore. There really are not. And there's this constant spirit of like clickbait, if I can word it like that, in the YouTube Star Stable community. And I, I don't like that. I'm not, I don't condone that. It's very like all these flashy thumbnails and you know, promising something that I won't actually deliver, that just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And I, I don't watch those people that do that. It's really obnoxious thumbnails and titles, you know. No, it's not my cup of tea. Like, I'm just seeking realness. When I'm watching a YouTuber, I want to, like, connect with them emotionally. Do you see what I mean? Like, I don't want to watch some phony YouTubers that promise something and deliver something else. And dude, like, I make money from YouTube videos. It's true, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the reality of things. Do you think I'm just gonna lie to you? No, I'm not. I wanna be fully transparent with you like I would be to a friend. I'm talking to you like a friend because that's what I wanna hear when I watch a YouTube video. I know that's what I'm seeking when I'm watching a YouTube video. I'm seeking connection. And so, I'm not really finding that with the source of YouTubers that are out there nowadays. Maybe one or two, but that's about it. I really do kind of miss the old days where there would be more Star Stable YouTubers to watch, and um, when things were just slightly different. I'm not complaining, just like, just laying my thoughts out for you guys. Just verbalizing, articulating my thoughts, that's all. But yeah, I really want to know what you guys think. My main goal with this video is to like, find answers in the comment section to my question as to what happened to Star Stable, who are these new people in the game, and where did the old players go, and why did people leave? I mean, I have a general idea as to why they left, which is the increased prices, but like what happened and it can be the new characters because this happened way before the new characters and some people are just overreacting with the new characters and just threatening to leave and then two days later they get back in the game you know they make all these posts and comments oh i'm gonna leave this game because of the new characters but then they come back again it's like dude be for real anyway guys if you want to check out my thank you red merch i would really appreciate that thank you for don't forget to subscribe, like this video, ring the bell, and I'll see you in my next one. I love you, my little dinky rats. Have a good one.